I'm here to answer your call. Hello. I was good. They wanna see if it's true. It's giving home. It's giving home. I've been waiting. Think I'm gonna make a move. Girl, what he talking about? Bullshit. I had to tell that nigga. <laughs> Look, nigga, I'm a hooch. Okay. You ain't breaking no bread. I ain't breaking no cooch. I like What's up, y'all? It's y'all soon to be favorite hoochie, and I'm back with another mother freaking video. <laughs> y'all, before I can this is video, I'm gonna need y'all to like comment subscribe share with your mama share with your daddy share with your bald headed granny y'all already know i'm just playing your granny got her yeah and like i said um if you don't subscribe it's cool like i always say the ratchet shit ain't for everybody but go ahead and like it takes no time that's the only way youtube is gonna push out my videos and that'll be the only way that we can continue to grow this family so yeah i'm not gonna riff and ramble too long i'm not gonna hold y'all grab your snacks grab your trees grab whatever you need and if you don't need anything then bitch just sit back and relax because sis bro you know i got the juice baby and <laughs> bitch it's juicy it's juicy so let's go so if y'all ain't seen part one of my flu out horror story this is part two flu out horror story aftermath after the flu out bullshit shenanigans that went on and disclaimers i do cuss and excuse my dogs in the background so y'all this is part two on what happened after that flu out if y'all haven't seen it it will always be linked in the description make sure y'all go check that out first then go ahead and do a back double take and come check this video out so yeah y'all um where i left off at was kevin hart shut up it was kevin hart invited us to um houston or whatever so after the trip immediately right after Dottie was like okay girl we're gonna go on this trip we're gonna go on this trip i'm like i'm gonna let you know i'm gonna let you know because at that time Nige, the dude that i was talking to dealing with he wasn't really fooling with it he was pretty much like nah i might not go on that trip i might sit this one out so in my mind i'm like if Nige's not going what's the point of me going because that's who i deal with that's his people so if you know what i mean if he's not going there's no purpose and no reason for me to go or whatever but Dottie kept pushing the situation. She was pushing. She was so thirsty for a trip. She really wanted to go on this trip or whatever. So about a week um, comes around. So I want to say maybe like a Tuesday, Wednesday. And the trip started on Friday and went through Sunday or whatever. But the trip went through Friday and it ended on Sunday or whatever. So... It was like Wednesday and thought he came back to the double take and was asking me like, so what you gonna do? You gonna go on this trip or not? My bad, y'all. It's an airplane. Just too much is going on today. So anyway, she was like, is you gonna go on this trip or you gonna sit this one out? And I'm like, nah, girl, I'm just gonna have to sit this one out. Najee said he ain't fucking with it. So, I mean, there's really no point in me going on this trip. And I really don't feel like you need to go on this trip because why why what's your purpose it's houston i mean from Fort Worth to houston that's a good four or five hour drive trip just chill just sit on there maybe we can go on our own in a couple of weeks but don't be too pressed too thirsty to go on the trip but she had it made up in her mind fuck that i'm going i want to go so that's what she did or whatever oh. so um I want to say the weekend come and I'm like, is you going on a trip? You still going to Houston or whatever with Kevin Hart? And she like, yeah, girl, I'm going. This bitch was trying to ask literally any and everybody. She tried to even invite her homegirls to go on a trip. Like she was so pressed. And to be quite honest, Kevin Hart really like, it was pretty much like a plus one type thing. He was really trying to like on a cool fuck with me and tell me to come out there. And because she was with me, he just invited both of us or whatever. So um, remember I told y'all like Nigerians really don't give a fuck like who you talking to. They don't care if you're there with the homie. Like they really don't care if they want you. They're snatchy, but they're going to get you. They don't care about no bro code. Ain't no such thing as the bro code with them. That's correct. So, um, yeah, I really just didn't understand, like, why she was so pressed and eager to go. But, yeah, y'all, she was inviting, um, trying to invite her homegirls to go, any and everybody to go. Time came, she was like, fuck it, I'm just going to go by myself. I'm just going to fade this trip by myself or whatever. I'm like, girl, you're so pressed. You're too pressed to go on this trip because ain't no way I'm going to go on a trip with some people that I don't even know just because I'm pressed for a trip. We don't, life don't get that deep, life don't get that serious or whatever. That's weird. So I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, that's your business. Like, I'm not your mom, I'm not your mother, can't tell you what to do. Like, if you want to do that, then go ahead and do that. All I can tell you is to be safe and be careful. Do y'all know that Daddy stayed in their Airbnb 
all of that with people that she don't even fucking know. Like, she stayed in the Airbnb. She just stayed with them, traveled with them. Whatever that they was doing, she was down with it or whatever. So, I want to say the first day, first night in there, first night out there, you know, we was texting for a little bit. Then she pretty much, like, went on about her way. Okay, cool. So, this is a Friday. The the trip started on a Friday. So, Saturday come around. Nigel hit me up. He like, do you want to chill? You want to go out? Because his thing was, like, going to the club, going to the, you know, the Nigerian after parties. Not after parties, like, after hours and stuff like that. Like, he was big on that. Hookah lounges, shit like that. So, he used to come get me pretty much, like, every Saturday day and we would go out we'll go out to eat do some nice things and then we'll go to the club or whatever so he picked me up or whatever and he was like um you know pretty much chilling but let me before i jump the story i was keeping you know a little tab on daddy just to make sure she was okay or whatever she looked like she was having a pretty good time she bitch was literally out there solo but she was making the best out of you know the time that she was in can't be mad at her she was lit or whatever so i'm like okay cool she's good she's having a good time that's all that matter or whatever so, like I said, fast forward, Saturday come around, night she picking me up or whatever. So, he had picked me up and um, he was like, why do you hang out with females like that? Like, in his African boys. Let me try. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Like, if I butcher it, I'm, which I know I'm a butcher, forgive me. Like, I'm not trying to be funny. But he was like, why do, you, why do you hang out with girls like that? Like, why do you hang out with girls like that? And I'm like, what you talking about? Girls like what? And he was like, your friend? Your friend, she's a slut. Your friend, she's a slut. <laughs> she already slept with like three, four of my homeboys that's out there. She's a slut. I don't see why you hang out with women that carry their stuff like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who, my friend? My homegirl? But remember, her name's Dottie. So, I mean, you know, no disrespect to her. But, girl, you was a little hot in the twat. You, you really was like that. You was giving that up or whatever. Correct. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what you talking about? He was like, yeah. Like, so pretty much she was out there, like, coochie popping, popping that coochie, you know, passing it around or whatever. So I was like, hell no. Nah. Like, it's not that press. It got to the point in our friendship where it was starting to irritate me. You know, like, you do what you do. I'm not here to judge, but birds of a feather do not flock together. Like, at some point, you're a reflection of me. So if you out there pussy popping, coochie popping, niggas gonna think I'm out here coochie popping and pussy popping. And, and we're not made of the same cloth. That's not what it is. And I did, we'll have conversations with her. Like, you you know, like, why you don't value yourself? It's not that serious. Like, make a nigga work, 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 work. work. Read it. Every time a nigga say, hey, how you doing? You you opening up the coochie. Like, it's, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. That that shows that you don't have no value, no respect for yourself. So, at, the, at this point, and let me mind y'all, this is after her trying to sleep with my Snapchatters, her trying to sleep with, um... Dumb dumb, like so at the at this point I was just at my wits end. Like tell me if I'm wrong or not, which you know, I was just to the point where I was like, you know what, this girl is just too much. Like she be on some whole other time and she was daddy was younger than me, so you know, like her mindset is her mindset and mine's is mine. You can't force nobody. You can you can bring a horse to the water, you can't make that motherfucker drink it. Do you hear me? <laughs> so be dehydrated, okay? <laughs> so I'm like, alright, fuck it. So I was just like, she's just somebody I don't want to associate myself with no more because, like, girl, that's wild. Well, to go out there on a trip that you wasn't, you was half as invited to and you busted up and like that to three or four, like, no, no. And it was kind of embarrassing me that he was just getting on my ass like I was the one out there coochie popping. Like, sorry, relax, relax. But, yeah, he started questioning my womanhood. Like, how do you hang out with women like that? Like, I don't understand. Like, he was my daddy. And, again, Nigel was, like, older than me. So, he felt like, you know, he had that place or whatever. So, I'm like, cool, fuck it. I don't really want to, like, deal with her no more. Like, so, I made it up in my mind. No conversation, no nothing. Like, I'm just going to cut her off. Like, it just, it is what it is. We had a good time. We had a good time while I lasted. And I still wasn't really fucking with her. But sleeping with, oh, boy, and I feel like she did that shit on purpose. Uh, Nigel, homeboy, back in Atlanta from the horror story. I feel like she did that shit on purpose just because I tell her not to do it. So she was like, but you told me not to do it? Do it. I'm going to do it. And that made me feel some type of way because like I said, what I told her what was going to happen, happened. So I feel like she did that shit on purpose to like throw salt on the game. You know what I mean? Like she was moving a little bit too weird and I was coming from a genuine place. So... I was like, at this point, fuck this friendship. 
And so, you know, I went on about my business or whatever. So, I want to say, like, a week, two went by. Like, we was on the same time. And, and to me, I feel like, bitch, you was on that energy anyways. Because if a friendship is worth saving, not saying kiss my ass or come spin a block. But it's like, bitch, if we was really that cool and I feel like you moving funny or you moving shady, I see you ain't fucking with me no more. I'm willing enough to come to you and be like, what's up? What's going on? Like, what's going on in our friendship? I feel like I extended the olive branch leaf, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the tree of understanding. I extended that bitch too much. So at this point, I'm like, I'm not... Yeah, I'm not going to restore shit because you moving funny. So, if you really wanted this friendship, you would have tested the waters and see what was going on, what's going on with us. But she was on the same energy. She was on the same time. Like, bitch, fuck you too. So, I was like, we was never friends in the first place. Like, I can kind of peep the friend of me shit from, you know, like I said, trying to sleep with dudes. You know, I can already peep that shit from the... From the when it was happening, so to me it was like, bitch, we was really never friends on your end because you was moving weird, anyways. So she was on the same time, the same energy. So we just really never talked anymore. And I want to say like months after, months after she had hit me up trying to talk about the situation. She was like, she pretty much went missing because, um. Let me just say, because it's not my business, and I don't want to disrespect her story and tell her story, because I really, honestly, don't know the truth. But judging by her history and her past, it's like, hmm, it's very questionable. But I'm not the type of woman to take away your voice, your story. But pretty much, long story short, she was pretty much saying a lot of them men, a lot of that shit happened against her will. And I'm just leave it there. So, I was just like, oh, okay, like, but you kind of put yourself in it. Not saying it's right because it's never right for a man to take anything from a woman. No means no. No means in the fuck. Oh. So, I'm not making excuses, but it's like you be putting yourself out there like that. So, I mean, you know, you be getting drunk. You be losing yourself. So, I mean, it was kind of hard to believe, but like I said, I'm not going to take away a woman's voice. So, if that's what happened... I felt 100% bad and apologetic, like, I'm sorry, but that's the whole reason why I told you to sit your ass at home because the trip was never that serious, mama. It was never that serious. Not correct. So, yeah, after she told me that, I said what I said, and our friendship was pretty much done with. It was pretty much over with. I seen her from time to time. I would say, what's up, because it's no beef. It's no beef. The only beef that was now, which still ain't really no beef, is the fact that you slid in my inbox on some rah, rah, rah shit, and I don't do that, baby, over a YouTube video, and it's never that serious. It's never that deep. Don't play with me. But other than that, like, I ain't got no ill wills, no bad feelings. I ain't got nothing bad to say about you, mama. I wish you well. I may God be with you so yeah that was pretty much the end that was part two that's pretty much the end of the me and thotty series and why we not friends no more that's that's pretty much what happened dumb probably dry i know probably but yeah that was the end of our friendship we just really didn't fuck with each other no more like last time i talked to her was the instagram message other than that no nah, we ain't been kicking it or nothing like that like we did go out one time i seen her downtown um, we was partying or whatever and we ended up like getting a section together and kicking it and shit But other than that, like no, nah, we don't really talk communicate keep nothing up But you know, y'all just gotta watch out for certain friends because Bitches be having some weird intentions and I just feel like you came in with ill intentions and all I was was genuine That's it, but I'm not I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. She's not the person she won't be the last to come in. But anyways, if y'all stuck to the end of this story, I really do appreciate y'all. If y'all need to do it on your way in, make sure y'all do it on your way out. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your mama, share with your daddy, share with your bi headed granny. And y'all already know until next time I see y'all in my next motherfreaking. Oh, before I close this out. Y'all, support the brand. Support the brand. I got short sets. The short sets, they came out in four different colors. It was my intention to wear a different color on every video, but the next video I do, I promise y'all, y'all see it. Um, it's not on there quite yet on the website, but give it to the end of this weekend and it will be. Support the brand. They're only $45. Bitch, I know you got a 20 and I know you got another 20 because you be spending on Uber Eats all the motherfucking time, bitch. So come on and support the brand and be a bad bitch. Yeah. Cause they, they, yeah, them sets, my vendor did that. Shout out to you, Doris. You did that. But anyways, um, like I said, until next time I see you on my next mother freaking video, peace.